Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. Today we're making a Type-C powered lamp that's simple, universal, and just a little bit magical. This project started with a cool heat sink and ended with this diffuser. The whole thing runs on 5 volts from any Type-C plug and uses a single 3 watt LED for the light. And the best part? No tools. You print it, press it together, plug it in, and watch it glow. This whole project started from the idea of using a radial heatsink with vent ports for cooling, but it kind of grew into something more of a light puck that can both be a lamp and a nightlight. I built the entire design around airflow, heat dissipation, and a clean universal shape. If you can make a three inch inner diameter tube, you could make a shade for this as well. So technically, this lamp can wear any hat you want. First, we will attach the LED to the heat sink using some thermal tape. I'll use the lid to make sure that it's centered so it fits and the heat transfers well. The wiring for this couldn't be simpler. Solder the LED's positive pad to the V-Bus on the breakout board. That's your 5 volts. Then solder the negative pad to the ground. Route the wires to the breakout pocket and press the whole thing together. Everything just locks together with friction. So if you want to upgrade or swap the LED later, it pops right out. Then you slide your 3 inch shade on top, and that's it, a lamp assembled. The Firefly filament makes this one really special. It has a subtle glow as soon as you turn the light off. So when it's on, it's bright enough for a desk light and soft enough for a nightlight. Between the vents and built-in heatsink, it runs cool even after hours. You could even remix this into a portable light with a battery pack. So that's it, the Type-C Firefly lamp. Small, simple, and ready for any 3D printed shade you can imagine. What do you think? Did I nail it? Or would you have designed it differently? Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.